Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Supervision More Randy or Advanced Gray color system sets of watercolor paints. So this video was viewer requested. I got a few people asking me questions about these sets. I wasn't really planning on doing a full dedicated video on these. I didn't really think people were so interested in these colors. I know they are more popular overseas. They're really popular in China. They are kind of starting, I feel like they're getting a little bit trickled down over here to the US. I think 2023, you might see more of these colors hit like fashion, um, more trendier fashions. Um, interior design, I think is always kind of in style, but I think a little bit more so a lot of the color forecasts that I've been reading lately. But yeah, so I did get a few people asking me questions about these, so I thought we would do a whole video. I did swatch four of these sets out already. Um, I still have to swatch out these two sets, so I thought we would do that in the video. That would be fun. There are 60 colors all together in this, in, these, in this whole collection, so that's a lot of colors we got to go through. These four sets should be fairly quick, um, and then we have 20 colors left to swatch. So if you're not already familiar, Advanced Gray or Mirandi, that just means a color or hue mixed with the gray. It could be varying saturations of the color itself. So it's not any particular colors that are considered advanced grays or more Andy colors. That's why it's called a color system because pretty much any color can be a more Randy color if you add gray to it. So that's a little bit of a background on what more Andy colors are. All right, so we're gonna get started. We'll take a look at this box first. This is the Spun Sugar set. It has what looks like a really pretty pink cotton candy on the front with some clouds and paint splattered across the lid. It has Supervision printed on the side and it says high grade watercolors on the bottom. We'll flip it over to the back and see what the back looks like. The back is where they have the color swatches that are included in the box. This set starts from one through 10, and then they also have these little four swatches of color combos you can do with the colors in the box. So that's really cool. Each one of these boxes are all exactly the same on the back, except for the color combos are different. I really like that they give you ideas on what colors to use together, and they list the numbers for you down on the bottom as well down here. All right, so let's open the box. So we're just going to go over the details for this first set. All the boxes are the same, so I'm just going to go over really quickly with you what it looks like in the box. Let's pick out one of these colors here. It says Supervision China on the front, the color number, and on the back, it just has the description. It says illustration watercolor confirms to EN713 ASDMD4236. It's eight milliliters, which translates to a 0.3 fluid ounce. And it says Hangzhou Zhangxi Stationery Company litigated and has their email and telephone number. I guess that's for us probably for sales purposes. And it says Series A. The pigments on the back are all exactly the same on every single tube, every set. Um, and the only reason why I even noticed that was because I had a viewer ask me if I can give them the pigment information. So the pigments that are listed are PY3 and PR146 and PB15 and PW6. So those are primary colors um, and a white so I don't know if that's just meant to be a list of all of the colors that could possibly be in each one of these tubes, but so they're all like that, um, all exactly the same information. It says transparency and the light fast rating, which this one says four stars. They all say four stars as well. So let's take a look at the box itself. I, it has this nice foam insert to hold the paints. And then it has another piece of 
foam on the bottom of the box. And I put this tape over here to make a little pull tab, just so it's easier for me to open and close the box. So that's the box and what's inside. So let's take a look at the swatch we did for this set. Yeah, so these are the colors. I think they matched up pretty closely to the swatches on the back of the box. What do you guys think? They are really pretty colors. I numbered them one through 10. I keep them in this watercolor palette. This palette holds only 48 colors and I have 60 colors all together. So I do have a smaller watercolor palette to hold the rest of the collection, but I couldn't find any palettes that are bigger than this. It holds 60 pans. Um, if any of you guys have any that you can recommend, I'd love it. Cause I would like to be able to keep them all in one place. This, these swatches that I made fit perfect inside. That's where I have them right now. Um, let's move on to the next set. Okay, the next set is this one called Charm of Song Dynasty. This is another really pretty box. This has a Chinese pagoda, I think. That looks like the roof of um, a pagoda to me. Um, some cranes flying around in the background in the sky and a really pretty colored kind of sunset looking sky in the background of this lid. Let's take a look at the back of the box and see what the numbers and the colors look like, what they're supposed to look like. Um, these are numbered 31 through 40, and you can see the four little palettes or um, color combos they give you on the back of this box. So we're not going to open up the box again since we already saw what was inside the first box. These are the color swatches for this set. And this set is called Chang and Palace Music. This one has a picture of a woman playing some sort of musical instrument behind her back. Um, it's not a guitar. What is it called? Um, maybe a mandolin. I'm not really 100% sure about that one. But this is another beautiful cover. I really like how they tie in the color theme with the lid of the box. I think this set is my favorite out of all of them. So far, we haven't swatched those other two boxes yet, but um, pretty confident saying that this is my favorite out of all of them. I really like the colors in this set, which was which is surprising because I actually, when I was checking them out to buy, I wasn't intending on buying all of these sets because they are expensive. When I found them on AliExpress, I found them for a really good price. They were around 25-ish dollars. AliExpress was having an anniversary sale or something like that. So I thought this was my chance, my only chance I would probably ever get to get these for such a cheap price. They are still a pretty good price over on AliExpress. They're cheaper than Amazon. So we'll talk a little bit about that later but this series it goes from 51 to 60 and these are the little color palettes they give you or color combos and yeah so let's find the swatches so you can see what they look like so a lot of really nice oranges and blues in this set i really like these color combos with this aqua and orange, nice complementary colors. The yellow is really pretty. Um, this is really interesting because if you look, just glance at it, you would think it's just a black, but it's really a very, very dark gray. Um, you can tell even more when it's diluted a bit with water. You can see it's a nice gray color. Um, the swatches I did are very opaque. Um, they, these are very saturated colors too. So a little bit does go a long way with these. So this is my favorite set. So far, I have to check out the two we haven't swatched yet. So my mind could change, but I don't think so. And then this set is called Sunset Travel. This is another one of my favorites. I think maybe my second favorite. This one has a picture 
of an old-fashioned type of locomotive train. Maybe it's a steam engine with the smoke coming out the top there and some clouds and more blues and kind of purplish violet, very sunset-esque colors. And these are the numbers on the back of the box. They run 41 through 50. And our little color palettes on the back, little color combos on the back. And our swatches for this one look like this. Um, so you can see these are really pretty sunset type of colors. These are perfect for a sunset. This is kind of almost like a pinkish orange, corally-ish orange. Um, I want to give these some color names. Um, maybe, maybe when I have some free time, I'll do, I'll give these some good color names. But I like the purples, the dark purples, and the range of the kind of brownish russet colors. This one would be good for a skin tone, this 48. Um, so yeah, this is a really great color palette for sunsets. All right, so that was all of the sets I have swatched already. Um, let me see. This Sunset Travel, no. This, these three sets are the only ones available on Amazon. And this one and these two are available on AliExpress. I bought them all from AliExpress. Um, just like I said earlier, they're, they were cheaper. They're about $38.99 as of right now on Amazon. I think they might have an 8% off coupon, but I recommend that you check out AliExpress for these. I will put the store links in the description where I purchased mine from. These all came from the Arctic AliExpress store and I don't know. For some reason, they don't have, they don't sell these. Maybe they did at one point and they don't anymore. I don't know. But I had to get these from a different store. They were a little bit more expensive at the other store. I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head the name of that store. But it, it was pretty good. It didn't come as fast as the Arctic store um, stuff came. But um, maybe like three, 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 four weeks maybe it came. Which is kind of typical for AliExpress. Um... But the ones I ordered from the Arctic AliExpress store came really fast. I think this one came the next day after I ordered it, which I was really surprised about. Um, and then these three came maybe like one week, two weeks, something like that. So we're going to check these out next. We have the LA Province set and the Garden Tour in Midsummer. We'll take a look at the back of the boxes when we swatch them. Or maybe we'll just take a look at them now so we can just get into the swatching. Um, this one, LA Province, is... This one's weird. It has It's the only one that's not in numerical order, the colors on the back. And let me see here. Let's go 17, 13, 12, 14, 11, 16, 15, 18, 19, 20. So I don't get it. I don't know if that's some sort of mistake. Maybe we'll check out the tubes when um, we open it up and get ready to swatch it. These are the four little color palettes they give you. And this one, the Garden Tour in Midsummer. These look more like pastel type of colors. So maybe they're a little bit more white in them. But we'll see. I'm speculating already. I haven't even opened up the boxes. But these are the colors 21 through 30. And that's our four color palettes. All right. So we're going to get ready to swatch these. I got to get some water, some paintbrushes. I have my swatch sheets already set up, ready to go. So swatch time is up next. <music> We're back. I think I'm all set up here, ready for swatching. Um, let's see. I taped down my swatches onto this bigger sheet of paper just because I know from the last time when I swatched um, the other swatches, the paper did curl up. So since you are watching me swatch, I figured I better tape them down. So be a little bit easier on me um, and for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, quick side note, I realized when I was talking about this set, I was calling it LA Province, but it's 
La Provence, like as in France, not LA province. I was, I don't know what I'm thinking. Sometimes I can't read. So we're all set up. I'm gonna put them in pants as well, just to save time so I don't have to do it later on. And I think I'm gonna start off with this La Provence. And since these are the, this starts from 11, even though this is the one that's out of order. I think it goes from 11 to 20. And I already did open them up. And this is what the tubes look like. So let's get started.
Okay, we're back from our swatches. What do you think of the colors? This one is the La Provence, and this one is the Garden Tour in Midsummer. As I suspected, these lighter colors, they seem to have a lot of probably titanium white in, in them. That's what the PW6 is. That's titanium white. That might be a good color story for us to do in the future. I'll have to write that one down. Um, I am running out of colors, interesting colors to do for my color stories. I do think some of them look a little bit similar to our other colors we've looked at. Like maybe these two. Well, this has got a little bit more green. They're not exactly the same, but they're kind of close-ish, I think. And let's see. Mm, not really, I guess not. When you really put them next to each other. No, but they all they all go nicely together. Let's stack these up in order. You tell me which one is your favorite. We have the Spun Sugar set and the La Provence. What's next? The Garden Tour in Midsummer. And then I think this one is the Charm of Song Dynasty, if I recall correctly. And then Sunset Travel. Oh, we're running out of space in the screen. Sunset Travel. And then finally, my favorite, still stays my favorite, um, the Chang An Palace music. So a very nice set of Morandi colors. I'm hoping for more Morandi type art supplies to be coming out soon. I did see a Morandi pencil set um, just a few days ago on Amazon. So I do have a picture that I used these, some of these paints in. This is Mardell Rubio's, his newest book. He just came out with a new one, but this was the last one. I forget the name of it, but it had like a lot of underwater themed themes. That actually might even be the name of it, Underwater. I think that is the name of it. I did the background in some, a few of the different colors. Um, oops, I think I forgot. I put stickles on these fish and I forgot one. But I like them a lot. I do want to use them a little bit more. I think I did her blouse in one of the watercolors as well. And I've been really liking using them and mixing them with my colored pencils. They make really nice backgrounds. And let's see, anything else we have to talk about? I think that's it for today. I did make a playlist, a supervision playlist, since I this is the third video I've made so far on supervision paints. And um, spoiler alert, I'm gonna be making another one um, soon. I just got this set of paints um, from supervision to review. And I was going to throw them in with this video, but I decided not to because they're not, they're different, they're a different type of watercolor. So I didn't want to mix them and I figure this video is probably long enough. But um, yeah, so this is just a quick little preview of what's to come. Um, probably, hopefully by next week, I'll be able to do something with these. It'll probably be a short video because it's only three colors. Look for that coming soon. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I also have a Facebook page I just started. I have Instagram. Oh, I'm starting to lose my voice, so I guess I better go. Stop talking so much. I hope everyone has a really great day. Happy coloring, and I'll see you next time.